How do you guys? So, got another build ready to come. Um, as my grand all is now nearing completion, um, that's behind me. There's just the finishing touches of that. Um, there's some bits I'll be leaving out for obvious reasons, but I'll explain more of that in the next grand all video, which will be coming shortly after this one. So, this is uh, just going to fill the gap while I save up a bit of money to put towards my next build and towards some more on this Grand Ola. So I can't really do much more to that at the minute. Um, so yeah, to fill that gap and uh, to keep you guys in RC videos, I had uh, wandered up to um, my dad's garage and had a rummage through my spare parts box um, to get some bits and bats and accessories out. And uh, yeah, I took a truck from his house to build. This is everything we see on here. We've just thrown together out of the house. We haven't had to buy anything in for this build. It's just what we've had lying around. Because my dad's in the hobby as much as I am. Uh, kind of in it together. So, figured he had a spare truck. I'll build it for him. And you guys get to see another truck build. So, we have everything here and more to make this complete, ready to run. Now, we're not going all out expenses with it. As I said, I'm going to try and do video builds on a budget. Now, I know most of you guys aren't just going to have this stuff lying around. You are going to have to buy in a truck. But there's going to be no sound unit. Um, minimal lighting. I have fished a few light bars out. It said it didn't want, so I will... Uh, have a word with him regarding those so I pulled them out anyway just in case because that is particularly for the top line and I don't think I'm going to be building another European truck personally for myself in the near future with the couple of builds that I've got lined up I want to try and broaden my skills and try something new and go into more customization and scratch building and have a little play about with that area so again there'll be more fun videos to come from that and we can all learn together along that journey so for this it's the Scania R470 the four wheeler um, so we've got the radio for it which is the Planet T5 that's 2.4 gig it's a 5 channel radio um, but it's perfect for the job no interference um, motor will be running poison Carson motor where we run on the layouts it's perfect um, they are a bob on motor for the trucks we're not going to be running the complete three speed although we will be putting the three speed together and having that in but we'll be locking this particular truck into second gear so we've got a high torque servo here um, it's just a Tower Pro, you can pick them cheap up off eBay. Um, regarding a lot of these products, if you want to know, um, guys, you'd probably be quicker doing a Google search than asking me. By the time I've got back to comments, you could have probably Googled it, bought it, ordered it, fitted it, and yeah. But um, I'm happy to help out where I can. So, the servo will be able to utilise where the um, gear change servo goes up front so we'll be able to run the servo up front for the steering and get rid of it from the side of the truck uh, again this is just a budget ESC from China but we've used them in trucks in the past and so far we've not had an issue and some of them have been in there a couple of years so again just for running minimal electrics and everything else just basically the kit just to drive now uh, the alloys I received because they're for a four wheeler I thought may as well throw them on here as well they're from GPM um, we still may be going with super singles on this truck because me and my dad's personal choice we're not really into that look on the Euro trucks whereas the super singles look much better so it probably will be those but we'll see once the truck's built and we'll see how it all looks when it's put together so 
Those are the alloys from GTA. I do apologise, I feel a bit coldy at the minute and my ears blocked. So I can't even hear myself talk. <laughs> um, some little printed magazines, just a bit of decorations for the dash. Ah, the dashboard. Dad, if you're watching, we need the light up dash. He has a, a dashboard made by Adam Farlow with all the little LEDs and fiber optics in the back of the dash. I think I have a video somewhere of one for my Mercedes, so you can go and have a look at that. But um, yeah, we'll get that from my dad's because no doubt he'll want his light up dash in here as it's for a Scania. And then some magazines to go on it, just bring it to life a bit. Uh, some curtains just around the window and the side windows. And those are from Petit Curtains, or Curtains Petit, I can't remember which it is, but they're on eBay. Just search Tamaya Curtains. Now these are made by Phil Oaks, the chap at the club. Um, got a lower grill bar, which would go the lower part of the truck. And this would go in the roof of the truck, the top line roof. Got one of those here. So, as I said, I'll have to inquire about those, as to whether he wants those fitting. Um, nice metal mesh grill to go in the front rather than the material type one that comes in the kits. So, it should look a bit better with that in. Wind deflectors. These are actually for Kirk window deflectors, which go around the window. This is a cab interior. This will be going in there and that also had this cab interior set. So we won't be using the back wall of this because we're not having an MFU. So again, that can be used in another truck. And inner door cards to go inside the doors with the Scania. Again, just to bring it to a little bit more life. and a stack exhaust off a King Cola or something like that or a Globe Liner. Now I have a pair of these somewhere, I'm sure I have, unless I've sold them on eBay at some point. So I must have a look about for those. Again, I'm not sure if he even wants stacked up the back, but I've just got them out of my stuff while I were there. So it's another thing to inquire about with Papa. And in this box is the top line roof and those are made by the Kirk model bow. So again, a Google search for Kirk model bow, that will bring up their website, translate it to English and you're uh, ready to go. I think you may need, a, need an account if you're wanting to buy stuff. So that is basically the top line roof in there and it comes with a template so you will have to re-drill the top of the cab where the original roof goes and then it will take your new Bekirk top line roof so it's just a simple straightforward build I won't be going in too deep like as to the step by steps and instructions of everything uh, everything's pretty much the same as the Grand Ola regarding building the truck so there are a few parts that are different, like you can't just mount um, an American truck kit, i.e. a Grand Ola, King Ola, Globe Liner, they won't directly bolt straight onto a European truck like your Mercs and your Scania's and your MAN's. So there is differences to the way they're built up front, but the rest is just the same. So those are the extras and the bits to get it ready to run and obviously you then have the kit itself everything all neatly packed into the box all your bits build up like the gearbox everything else from there everything you need screws nuts wheels tires it's a complete kit it's being checked but yeah, everything's there. So that is pretty much that. 
and if you would like to know more in regards to my grand hall of build then if you're already subscribed then brilliant and thanks for your support um, and stay tuned for that one and if you're not already subscribed and like I say you want to hear more regarding that build then do go ahead and hit that subscribe button now click that bell to be notified and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and feel free to drop me a comment and I'll catch you guys in the next video when we're either building some more grand hauler yep it'll be the grand hauler and then we can start looking at the Scania and bits of crawl stuff in between so again thanks for your support guys take care have fun with your builds happy RC so peace out